Prince William is determined to move forward and intends to disregard the widespread speculation surrounding his wife, Kate. Hi. Before we continue please subscribe to the channel for more British royal family news. Prince William's main focus today was to move forward and continue with his duties, disregarding the rampant speculation surrounding his wife, Kate. He refused to get caught up in conspiracy theories or engage in any debates about her health and recovery, despite the intense social media speculation about Kate's well-being. The 41-year-old prince remained composed during his visit to Sheffield on Tuesday. He took selfies with fans, met individuals who have experienced homelessness, and even made light-hearted comments about the weather. During the unveiling of his Homewards initiative, a five-year project aimed at ending rough sleeping, he emphasized his determination to drive forward and make a difference. A close source to the air revealed, his main focus today was to carry on with his responsibilities and drive forward, particularly with the Homewards initiative. During his visit, William even mentioned Kate, stating that she needs to sit here, when the topic of early childhood was raised in a Homewards Sheffield local coalition meeting. However, while the prince was discussing ways to combat homelessness, Social media speculation about Kate's health escalated after a video emerged of the couple visiting a Windsor farm shop on Saturday. These wild conspiracy theories were even perpetuated by BBC reporter Sonia McLaughlin, who suggested that the pictures may have been staged with a lookalike. In response, veteran royal commentator Dickie Arbiter strongly rebuked her comments, asserting that the woman in the pictures was indeed the Princess of Wales. Arbiter expressed his disappointment in the BBC, questioning their credibility as a reliable source. He acknowledged that there will always be individuals who indulge in conspiracy theories, but Kensington Palace can do little to counter them without inadvertently giving them legitimacy. In the face of such baseless claims, all they can do is endure and carry on. The conspiracy theorists will only be silenced when the Princess of Wales resumes her duties her triumphant return serving as undeniable proof. However, the road to her recovery is hindered by the incessant babble surrounding her health, a nonsensical chatter that only adds to her struggles. In a fiery response, Mr. Arbiter, the former spokesman for Queen Elizabeth, denounced those concocting conspiracy theories about the princess's well-being as nothing more than fools. He urged them to cease their fabrications and retreat back into the depths from which they emerged. Kevin Peterson, a close friend of the princess, vehemently criticized the utterly ridiculous conspiracy theories, asserting that he spends time with the couple regularly. He pleaded with the cruel trolls to leave the princess and her beautiful family in peace. Culture Secretary Lucy Fraser echoed these sentiments, appealing to the public to grant the princess some privacy as she recovers from her recent surgery. Recognizing her remarkable strength, Fraser emphasized the importance of respecting her need for solitude during this time. Despite the online chatter, Prince William remained resolute in fulfilling his royal duties, engaging in discussions about combating homelessness. He happily posed for selfies with adoring fans in Sheffield, even holding a coffee mug for one fan while they captured the moment on their phone. During a meeting with the coalition, Prince William was deeply moved by Chris Lynham's harrowing tale of homelessness. Lynham, a former Royal Navy member, shared his journey of battling post-traumatic stress disorder, addiction, and incarceration. The prince commended Lynham's bravery and requested his contact information, expressing a desire to stay connected. Prince William further sought the insights of experts on family homelessness and explored the potential of early intervention in transforming lives. The Homewoods Sheffield Local Coalition, consisting of over 70 organizations and individuals with first-hand experience of homelessness, has been working tirelessly for the past nine months to create a unified vision and action plan to eradicate homelessness in the city. Afterwards, the Prince convened with prominent landowners and various organizations supporting Homewards. Together, they made a solemn commitment to provide shelter for families teetering on the edge of homelessness or already grappling with it. This momentous occasion was made possible by a generous injection of £1 million from Homebase, the esteemed DIY retailer. Damien McLaughlin, the CEO, personally expressed his desire to be intimately involved in this noble endeavor, 
During the gathering, McLaughlin formally pledged to supply up to 1,500 home starter packs, complete with paint, furniture, flooring, and furnishings. These packs would empower tenants to transform their properties into warm and welcoming homes. Homewards, a brainchild of Prince William, was launched in June 2023. Its mission was to unite a diverse array of individuals and organizations, all dedicated to crafting tailor-made solutions for homelessness. The project initially focused on Newport in South Wales, as well as three neighboring towns in Dorset, Poole, Bournemouth, and Christchurch. It also extended its reach to the South London borough of Lambeth, Belfast, Aberdeen, and Sheffield. In a public forum, a renowned rugby pundit took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to express her skepticism about a certain news report. She adamantly denied that the person depicted in the pictures was Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge. She criticized the media for presenting this falsehood as fact, labeling it all as very peculiar. This statement provoked a strong response from veteran royal commentator Dickie Arbiter, who vehemently defended the authenticity of the pictures. He even went as far as to say that he would eat his hat if the woman in question was not the Princess of Wales. Arbiter further lambasted the BBC, questioning its reliability as a trustworthy source. He lamented the fact that conspiracy theorists were spreading baseless claims, and expressed his frustration at the inability of Kensington Palace to silence them. He believed that the only way to quell these rumours was for the Princess of Wales to return to her duties, but acknowledged that the constant speculation was hindering her recovery. In a final rebuke, Arbiter labelled those concocting conspiracy theories about the princess's health as idiots, urging them to cease their fabrications and retreat back into obscurity. Close friend Kevin Peterson also criticised the completely ridiculous conspiracy theories, asserting that he sees the couple on a regular basis and urging the cruel trolls to leave her and her beautiful family alone. Culture Secretary Lucy Fraser also appealed to the public to respect her privacy after her recent surgery. Fraser stated on LBC Radio, she is an extraordinary woman, and I believe we should give her some privacy. She is currently recovering from an operation, and I think we should not see. Despite the online speculation, William remained focused on his royal duties and engaged in discussions about tackling homelessness. During his visit to Sheffield, William happily took selfies with fans, even holding a coffee mug for one admirer while they took the photo. He even made a light-hearted comment about the weather, joking, last time I was here, it was perfect for barbecues. During a meeting with the coalition, William was deeply moved by the story of military veteran Chris Lynham, who experienced homelessness after leaving the Royal Navy due to post-traumatic stress disorder. The prince commended Lynham's bravery in sharing his story and requested his contact details to stay in touch. William also sought the opinions of experts on family homelessness and discussed the importance of early intervention in transforming lives. The Homewoods Sheffield Local Coalition, consisting of over 70 organizations and individuals with personal experience of homelessness, has been working for the past nine months to develop a plan to end homelessness in the city. After the meeting, William met with landlords and other organizations supporting Homewoods, who have pledged to provide accommodation for families at risk of or currently experiencing homelessness. This initiative received a significant boost of £1 million from DIY retailer Homebase, whose CEO Damien McLaughlin personally wanted to be involved in the project. During the meeting, McLaughlin formally pledged up to 1,500 home starter packs, which could include paint, furniture, flooring, and furnishings, to help tenants transform their properties into homes. In the enchanting month of June 2023, William embarked on a noble quest known as Homewards. With a heart full of compassion, he summoned a diverse assembly of souls and establishments, weaving them together in a tapestry of unity. Their shared purpose? To craft tailor-made remedies for the plight of homelessness in the enchanting lands of Newport, nestled in the embrace of South Wales. Yet, their benevolent reach extended beyond these borders, reaching out to three neighbouring towns in Dorset, the charming Poole, the vibrant Bournemouth, and the serene Christchurch. The journey did not end there, for they ventured forth to the southern realm of Lambeth in London, 
where the bustling streets whispered tales of hope and despair. Across the shimmering waters, their mission continued, touching the hearts of Belfast, Aberdeen, and Sheffield, where the winds carried echoes of longing and resilience. Thank you for watching till the end. Please do share your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.